tried to bring y'all with me early this morning, but I decided not to. I just wanted to just meditate and just think about some things. But I knew, I told y'all, I'm one of them people when I know I have to do something, it presses me until I get it done. So I knew my license was expiring. I thought at the end of this month, but I just looked them. They actually expiring July the 15th. But it was just on my mind, you know, I got to get my license renewed. I got to get my license renewed. So I was like, let me get on up, go on bite that bullet and go on get it done. I just wanted to get on y'all and just share just... It might seem like something simple to y'all, but it's not to me. So I'm just in such a calm mood, just such a calm, relaxed mood. And so I was like, at first I was like, I'm getting up at this time. I'm going to be there at that time so I can beat this, 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 and this. So what's up with this? Okay. So... I decided, I was like, you know what? No. Because honestly, if I be honest, God been waking me up at 2 and 3, but I haven't been getting up. I, I, I'm just going to be honest. I've been laying in the bed talking to God, knowing I probably should be up praying. I've just been laying there just talking to God. And that's my disobedience. So I have to ask God to forgive me for that. Because I, I, know, I know better. And I have a desire to do better. So... And I'm just being honest because God already know. I be laying there trying to talk to him. I doze off. He'll wake me back up. I talk to him. I pray some more. Instead of just getting up full-fledged praying. So, Lord, forgive me. But I just been in such a relaxed mood. So, I checked and see they said they owe me up at 8 o'clock. So, then I prayed. I said, well, Holy Ghost, you order my steps. Take me to the right one. I said, I don't want to be in line all day. Because anybody know anything about the DMV, especially when I used to go, you get up, you be, the line be so long, the people be so nasty. It just don't be a pleasant experience at all. So I decided to go to one I always go to. And I know they had redid it the last time I came. So I said, I'm just going to go to that one. I thought about a couple more days. I was like, nah, I just go to that one. That's, I, I just felt like that. I came on to this one I always go to. So I got in. I asked the young the lady that was leaving because they opened. it. Hey, so I was like, is the line really long? She said, well, she said, it ain't too bad. She said, I came at 8.30. She said, I'm leaving now at 9.15. She said, you just go in there, go to the information desk, and they'll, you know, get your ticket and all that stuff. I said, okay. So I went in there. I was as soon as I walked in, I was the second person behind the person, you know, person in front of me. I was the second person. So she was already dealing with a Hispanic family. So the person in front of me was Hispanic. So she called him up. So she just kind of told them to get that information together, just stand to the side. As soon as they got that together, come back up. Then she called me. I said, I just want to get my license renewed. She said, Go around there which I thought I had did before. She sent me to the kiosk machine, put all your information in, pay for your stuff, and then they'll call you. I did all of that, and then I felt kind of bad. And then I said, you know, Lord, I want to do better with that, but I still was working. They had a young man, the security guard over there, and it was an older couple. And she didn't know what she was doing. Uh, and that, I feel sorry for the older, older generation this our generation or my generation, I feel like we in between. You know, we we in between that encyclopedia. We could go right now if the computers, everything vamped out. We know how to without Google get some encyclopedias, look something up, go to the library, research something without that. The older generation before us, that's all they know. And so they're at an age now, not all of them, some of them. This computer stuff is really just, it's just, it's, it's just, it's taking a toll on them. And she was over there. And she was trying to, they actually should have somebody for the older people. She was over there. And she was trying to, I guess it was her brother, her, uh, I don't know who it was. She was trying to help him. She was trying to put information in the computer for him. But then she was trying to put information in the computer for her. I don't know what she was trying to do, but the, the man was getting a little agitated. 
And I'm not judging him on the agitation because I understand, you know, you have to pray for patience, ask God to help you. Patience just don't come easy for everybody. And he wasn't raising his voice, but you could hear the agitation. He, like, he, she was like, he was like, now who you put information in for? Is that his information or your information? And she had one of those voices that, like, I'm, I'm putting in, uh, damn it. you know, it was like in and out. So you really had to pay attention. Well, me, I would really have to pay attention. And so then he was like, then she was like, oh, it done kicked me. He said, because you taking too long. And I was like, so I was just over there trying to hurry up and get my stuff done. Because it really was kind of simple. But I've learned, and I tell my husband this all the time, things are simple to you when you understand them. When you don't understand them, they're not simple to you. So it's simple to me because I be on the computer, I pay bills on the computer, I, you know. So it was simple to me because, you know, I was reading. I know I know what to push to get uppercase. I know what to push to get lowercase. I know what to push to get street numbers, you know what I'm saying, to me. And I don't know if you could do that. It would have been easier for him just to get the information and just put it in for her but i don't know if you can do that because you know so much stuff going on now and that might he might just for his safety precautions anyway so i did that I, it took me less than five minutes i came on around she said did you pay i said she said, didn't let you pay i said yeah she gave me a ticket she said go over there and sit down yeah i went over and sit down i sat down for maybe 30 seconds and they called me up Call me up. I got my stuff, and then I was gonna get the gold star. This is something new that I didn't any, know anything about. The gold star, if I'd have got it today, it was eight dollars. I come back on me twelve dollars. But the gold star is something you have to have on your license in case you want to fly somewhere, travel, go out of uh, the country, passport. I'm like. And they're giving you a year to get the gold star. I'm like, this is getting... And I want to tell you something else, too. I feel so inclined that if you do not have your passport, you better go ahead on and get it. Even if you don't go nobody. Nobody. Go nobody. Go nowhere. You better go ahead on and have your passport. Because I, I, I don't know. I'm feeling it might become a time where they might say, hey, uh, if you haven't had your passport, blah, 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 uh, we're not accepting passport application right now and won't be accepting for the next two, three, four years. I don't know. But I was like, you got to have a gold star on your license for passport? You in the street, baby. And you sitting there comfortably, but ain't nothing you can do because that truck behind you. Anyway, I just wanted to share that that. God just, he knew, he, he knows how I'm feeling today. He knew I didn't feel like the hustle. And then to top all that, y'all, I had two nice workers. That's almost unheard of at the DMV, in my opinion. One of them was getting trained, the other one was training her. That was so nice and so helpful. And I was so thankful. I couldn't get the gold star because I didn't have my original. I didn't have my original birth certificate, which I thought I did. But I did. But she needed my original birth certificate. So, and then I was like, what if I come back? She said, well, if you want to come back tomorrow, we'll put the money back on your car. I was like, no, let me just go and get my license because... This is what I was thinking. I was like, let me just go and get my license because why it's so pleasant. Now, this is the thing, you know, y'all. After I got in line, as soon as I got in line, yeah, it's about 10, maybe, I know, if not 10, I know at least seven people. They start coming back to back to back to back. But I was like, Lord, thank you. Thank you. And if I didn't come in my car to see that I have any of that information, I'd have been... The whole process took me no more than 10 minutes. That's unheard of at the DMV when I used to 
go back. I only go now, honey, you know, to the renew. And I don't know how it's going to be. <laughs> I'll go back to 32. I don't know how that's going to be. Glory to God, I put it in your hands. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to share that. That God, God is even concerned about how you feel on a day today. And God knew that I just was not in that hustling bus sometimes. You know how sometimes you just don't care. Sometimes you be like, hey, I'm going to go, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, I was like, nah, not gonna do it. Don't feel like being in that rush. I just wanted to share it with y'all because, honey, that's unheard of. That's just the goodness and the grace of God. And it's such a relaxing day. I feel so relaxed. I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts before. I mean, I was just like, I'm just taking my time. And I had told myself, I said, if I get there, and the line outrageous or it's just too much, I'll just come back tomorrow. But I kept thinking that my license expired at the end of the month, but they actually expired on the 15th. But see, I'm glad I just got it done. I'm glad I just got it done. So, my picture look of me is my new license come, I think she said six to eight days. So now I'm headed to the post office because I got to send something back to Shein. I had ordered up. Uh, it's really not bad for $8. But I'm going to get on and see if they have another one. The material, how they have the uh, the piece for your arm to go around your arm. That material, how they have it, you got to stick it through. For me, it's hard. I guess... Because it's not Velcro. It's like they had a piece that I could pull through and Velcro it. It'll be fine. But really the cuff is not that big. But like I can get my arm in there. But when it start uh, expanding to take the pressure. It start, the little paws start coming out. So I know that means it's not big enough. But for $8. So I'm going to get on there and see if they have one that's a little bigger. And I'm going to send this one back. So, I don't want to be on here just rambling. So, I'm going to get on off. I did want to share that, that with y'all. That just something that seemed like so simple was such a blessing for me, y'all. And I will talk to y'all now. I'm picking up my grandbaby. We're going to go get our eyebrows done. And get something about these facial hairs done. And I've been sitting out here waiting on this little girl. For I know five minutes. She keeps saying, Grand, I'm coming. Grand, I'm coming. Anyway, we will see you. Good morning, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Good morning, gorgeous. It's me, y'all. I'm back. Did y'all miss me? Back like I never left. Back like I never left. Did y'all miss me? I know y'all did. Me and Granny going to get our eyebrows done. Look at Granny. This is her first time. Well, not her first time, but her first time in a minute because she usually do her own eyebrows. Mm -hmm. First time in a long Don't you be jumping. I ain't going to be jumping. I'm going to do something about these chin hair. You should get the chin wax. Or you'll get it three. Oh, but that hurt. I had three before and that hurt. Get the chin wax. You're going to get your eyebrows wax at three. I said get your eyebrows dirty because they last long and get your chin wax because I get my lip wax. She the expert. I'm just, I'm just following pursuit. You got me feeling cool. So you know, to cool me off, I be waking up in the middle of the night just taking showers. You know, could that cool you off? Taking a shower, like taking a real hot shower. What did they say? Maintenance. It's, it's just about the apartments. It's just oh. they lie. They're li they're liars over there. And then you call the maintenance people. How maintenance don't want to maintenance? Like <laughs> that's your job. And they act like they got an attitude when they an attitude when they call and you need to fix them. Your maintenance. But anyways, like they, they said that's what you signed up for. Right? Yes, that's like me going to work at the ice cream place and I want to fix nobody no ice cream. And she always put makeup on her eyebrows and it be looking good. But I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like Grandma do that because.
because her wig is not be permanent, but my color be permanent. It's not be permanent. You ain't gonna do that every day. She got them tinted up. She got her eyes tinted. They gonna lighten up as um. She wash her face and stuff. Mm -hmm. She got tinted and she got her chin done. Babe, she was doing that chin. I gotta come back in two weeks. I got my eyebrows done, but I'm gonna come back and get my tinted. But I'm gonna tell her just do the outside for like the ombre. But now we said we need our lashes done now, so we about to go get some lashes so we can put some lashes on. I have to apologize to y'all. Number one, y'all have to stone. When I make these videos, I don't go back and look at them. I make them, edit them, pop them up. I make them on my phone. Oh, I was, I went back to my camera, but I got tired of camera. Y'all went back, just so had me look at a couple of videos, y'all. I'm so sorry. Girl, my head look like scallywag. And then give them all up in y'all face in the car. So I'm gonna go back to my old mount. See if I can find my old mount. You said in the car, so that way y'all don't be all up in my face. It's early in the morning. I'm sure you can tell them my voice. I'm at therapy. I'm turning around let y'all see. I got a few minutes before I go in and I thought about it because I had watched the video this morning. I was like, oh God, I need to tell my people I'm sorry. I be all up in y'all face. My face be all up in y'all face, girl. It just ain't right. It just ain't right. So, I just want to pop on. I'll pop back on when I get out of the therapy. You show can see. Took my hair down. Because, girl, I'm telling you, I looked at my head. I was like, girl, you on the internet like that. You looking like scallywag. You... I'm sorry if I'm all up in y'all face, but this is all I got right now until I go ahead on and find me another one. But we we are on our way to my favorite thrift store, um, which y'all know is Park Avenue Thrill. That's my favorite thrift store, and I just passed with my. Uh, Grandbaby worked that last summer, y'all. I'm telling y'all, time go. People said time don't go fast. Yeah. Time really do. I heard somebody said one time, they said, I ain't, I, I, they said, how did they put it? They said, they'll never say that time go fast again. Now I'm going to drop her off at college. was talking the other night, y'all. We was like, oh, when you be when you was younger, when we was younger, you really thought you was missing someone. You do, yeah. You really thought you was missing something. Like, oh, I can't wait to I get grown and I'm be able to do this. I remember I used to think, oh, I can't wait to I get older. And I can sleep how I want to sleep. <laughs> Imagine my surprise. Girl, these streets so wrecked. I'm sorry, y'all. Imagine my surprise when I realize. Y'all, my stuff all up in your face. Imagine my surprise when I realize, girl, you had to get him go to work. I ain't no sleeping. Hey, what you mean sleep how you want to sleep? You mean get him, get him go to work, girl. Ooh, wee. I just wish these kids can enjoy being kids. That's what I just tell my grandbaby. Baby, enjoy where you are right now. You ain't missing out on nothing. Enjoy where you are right now. Don't rush paying bills. Don't rush living on your own. It sounds good. It sounds, you know. It 
it just sounds so ooh, 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 ooh. like I got too good. Uh, she couldn't wait to drive. Ooh, drive, drive, drive. Y'all crooked, hanging. Anyway, the minute she started driving, she thought, oh, driving is so ghetto. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, you need to know how to drive. But, girl, if somebody can drive you, honey, please. That's mm. one of them people that just love to drive. Girl, let me get off here because this time it's annoying me, has them. I'll talk to y'all. All right, y'all. We are at my favorite thrift store. Okay, I took it in the car. Green page, not on sale. I'm gonna get this basket right here. You know what I said? I don't need no purse. And then what's the first? This is heavy. This is just totally out of heavy. Totally just out of heavy. I like the way this look. The style is. But came in. I like this blue. This would be so cute with some jeans or some white pants. Okay, I'm on the go back red. Also, I saw this little Zara number. I was trying to see how it goes for my grandbaby. To see if that would be something she'd be interested in. I can't figure it out. And I got to see what color is marked down. I'm going to show you something else that's cute. For uh, this right here. A swimsuit cover. That's cute. It's just the front side of the store. Oh, yeah. I gotta go get some flats, ballet flats. That's trending. They brand new. They're able to do them. 
this is the one though. so close to this baby I would get this y'all know I just thrifted one like this mm. oh that's a gap that feels good too Tell y'all something up in my face or not, and I know y'all are, and they're just going to annoy me. Let me put y'all right here. Let me put y'all right here. Let me put y'all right here. Y'all got to uh, quit falling on y'all self. Y'all got some balance now. Don't be fine. Y'all okay? You feel right on your face. Showed up. I went in there. I pulled up at 10 o'clock. I looked at my watch. It was 10 03 exactly because I said they've been open for an hour and a couple of minutes. It is 12 30. And I'm just getting in the car, cutting the air on, cutting y'all. I, I went in there, showed out. But like I said, it just, I've been cleaning my closet. I'm just going to clean some more stuff out, stuff that I don't really love, that ain't making me feel good right now at the size i am right now and that's another key i'm gonna give y'all when you have gained weight or lost weight and you tell me i ain't gonna buy no clothes because i'm gonna lose weight that's fine that's what everybody gotta do what they want to do but then when you want to go out you don't feel good because you don't feel like you look good so now you're depressed because you, everything you got is in your old size so now you see them looking at your hood I just so don't know big chaka chaka cheese and, and you got a million thrift baby get yourself up go that don't mean now this ain't for everybody because I know some people uh uh no uh uh cause if I do everybody gotta work out their own soul salvation I'm saying get yourself up because we go home we stop in the gym get yourself up I hope y'all can see me if you can't see me you can hear me Go to them thrift store and find you a couple. It ain't got, you ain't got to spend no more than $15. A couple outfits that you try on, that's flattering, that look good on you, that if your boo say, come on, baby, we finna go out. You can go put that on. Now, I look a mess, girl. I looked in the mirror. When I was trying that stuff, I almost did myself. I got so embarrassed. 
I said, no, one of my hoes said, now look, look now, do something for that head. Hey, <laughs> Cause all my gray in the back, uh, I hadn't conditioned nothing. I just took that stuff out cause it started annoying me. And plus when you pin it up, like I like to pin it up, it's not like my curly hair. You can pin up and see the braid on the side and all the gravy poking on the side. I was like, girl, let me take this mess out of my head. Y'all just look at this face. So, I'm going to do something for my head. I got therapy tomorrow. Look at this man. I wish I could turn the camera. What's wrong with it? He just, he crossing the street and he just walking like he on the stroll in the park. Knowing these people, people uh, drive like nuts, girl. Did I tell y'all? I think I told y'all, girl. I was at Walmart. Let me, I'll skip to a different subject. I'm going to come back. I was at Walmart, girl, about two weeks ago. A matter of fact, I, why am I screaming? As a matter of fact, I was at Walmart when I bought some shirts today. Can I sit y'all right here? Would that be too bad? I know the pain. My God. Girl, all this is trying to keep y'all out of my face. That ain't right, is it? Wait a minute, girl. Y'all, girl, this is just too much, man. Now y'all looking all up my, up my chest. We just gonna do it like this. Me and a uh uh but me and a Hispanic lady, I don't know if I told you this or not, it's coming out the Walmart. And I thank God, I thank God that she had she had like four babies. Uh they was like one looked like he might have been six, and then the other one might have been like four. I can't remember if she had a big baby around that age. And she had, I can't remember if she had, was it four or three? I can't remember because she was sure herself. She was behind the basket, y'all. And she had the two or the three kids, one on each side, holding on to the basket. Girl, when we opened the door, you know how you come through now, Walmart, I guess because so much stealing to get. What's stealing? What is stealing? I guess because they had so much stealing, they had them, uh, you know, open door thing. So we had came through that to come out. And then the sliding doors where you be out in the street. Girl, we was walking out where they had them big poles and we was walking out. Girl, in a car and I think I told y'all. I told my husband, I told somebody called, girl, it, it made me nervous. Girl, one of them cars and the Mustangs or whatever, whatever, Mustang, Dodge, whatever. Girl, I know about 75, 80. Came through that parking lot. Girl came so fast, I screamed. And she froze. And her babies was just hanging on the basket looking at her. She froze. She just stood there. And she looked down at them. And she just stood there. And I stood behind her. And then finally, after, I know I'm a, I might have stood there about 30 seconds. And finally, I came like around her. And she still was just standing there. And then she looked like this. She looked at each side. And then she went, and then she went on. And I was like, Lord, I thank you that them babies. Because not, you, babe, sometimes you can have the most well-mannered child. But this is what I used to tell my daughter this all the time. What you have to understand is children are going to be children. And they can know not to run out in the streets. They can know not to talk to strangers. They can know don't be eating from everybody. And at the wrong time and at the right time for them, they'll eat something from somebody. They'll run out in the street. They'll talk to a stranger. They kids. Kids going to be kids. Kids going to be kids. They'll do good 99% of the time. And then that other 9% girl, they'll miss it. I mean, you just, I mean, the other 1%. So, yeah, the, you know, I'm so glad that them babies was hanging on to that basket because I don't. Mm, 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 mm. Now, back to what I was saying. I told you I was coming back. Get yourself in there and get you something that you. I be trying to tell my husband because we had went to class the other night. Baby, I went in that, in that closet and I got some stuff that I can fit now. And I, I rarely have, I only have a couple of my, most of my pieces that uh, I'm working my way back into are in the garage, 
which are my leather pieces, because leather don't give, girl. Uh, you know, it'll give out the wire, but honey, who, how you, how you, <laughs> they got to be an extra large, and you still trying to squeeze in some medium slash large leather pants. That ain't gonna work. That, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, I'm running my mouth, and this is my turn. That is not gonna work, girlfriend. So, uh, I be telling my husband, I went, baby, I went in my closet. I should have took a picture. I had thrifted these black and white, uh, like leggings, but they real good material. And I had this vintage, oh, I love vintage. I had this vintage bat weave, bat, what's a bat weave? Bat wing shirt. And, um, y'all probably don't remember a long time ago I had to to this dress and I said I was going to get the altered. It was way too big. Finally, I just cut that dress, cut that bow off that dress, donated that dress and kept that bow. I put that polka dot bow. I pinned it on that shirt. I was like, oh, you looking good. You told you. You better get you some jeans and some shirts and then two pair of jeans and two or three shirts that you can wear right now. And when we go out, you feel like yourself. Cause it's easy. Oh, they having a, a thrift sale Saturday. Well, I'm like, I don't know. That's another something we can get up to right now. Um, yeah. So I showed out. I got when I say that black with black, black y'all, y'all forgive me. Cause when I get to going, I be thinking all about y'all, girl. That's why I can't shout with nobody. I can't shout with nobody, even when I was uh telling my husband, oh, a while ago, why, why, a while ago, girl, uh, somebody had, who was that? I can't think who it was. Like, I, now, I don't mind doing it, but girl, I forget you in the store. I ain't gonna lie. I, if y'all ever be like, oh, girl, I'm in Memphis, can we shop together? Girl, I might tell you, yeah, get that, forget, forget you in the store, be like, uh, a guy in the car and left me like, wait a minute. One of my one of my bam bams was 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 was, was in, in that store with me. <laughs> I'm being honest, y'all. That's one thing I do keep trying to tell y'all about my channel. I just try to be me. I just try to be me. Y'all see me. And y'all so sweet somebody I can't think who the who bam bam was say um uh, uh she said uh I'm talking about no makeup. She's like, oh, you beautiful like you are. You don't need no makeup. It's just like everybody want to put on makeup. You know, be glam, glam sometime. And I will give y'all that sometime. Because, girl, when I looked at that, I was like, I'm scared when I look at this video. I don't look at my videos. I don't go back and look at my videos. Because I feel like it would discourage me from even wanting to do videos, girl. Because I'd be like, girl, look how you look. Look at how you look here. <laughs> look at your teeth, sister. Oh, I got a big, huge, huge uh, joke for y'all. I'm thinking it's going to be a joke. I got to wait till I get it in. But anyway, so yeah, y'all. Now, the other thing about thrift. I am, I do, y'all know, I thrift, I thrift just about, I don't say anything. I don't thrift. I don't thrift uh, towels. I don't thrift underwear. I don't thrift, uh, see, look at, see what I'm saying? Just going fast for no reason. I did a video a long time ago about what I don't thrift. I remember I put it in the description. Oh, but now I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I will thrift a vintage swimsuit. And I'm going to tell you why. And I explained this before. Number one. You in chlorine. You in chlorine. You in chlorine. I feel a little bit better about you being down there in the chlorine. And that ain't something you wear every day like draws. That ain't in your constant routine like draws. Most folks have three or four swimsuits. They alternate. So if uh, you done got a swimsuit nine times ten, and, you know, you wasn't in it all day like draws, like pants. 
And when you was in the 9 times 10, you was in chlorine and you only kept it on. You ain't keep it on, not, not hardly all day, with all your funk juices just to grind up in there. And then, you know, so I don't want to get you whatever. So, I, you know, you get you some Lysol. You get you some, uh, what is that stuff? It's Lysol wash. I did a video on this so long ago. Lysol wash. Get you some spray. And if you have a, depending on the color of your suit, spray bottle. Spray that crotch. Let it sit a little bit. And then dump it in the water. The reason I said vintage suits, because a lot of these modern suits, I just love vintage suits. I, I just love vintage. It was just something about how elegant or whatever, you know, they saw the women and the women saw they sales. And they make the cutest swimsuits and just vintage clothes was just so much made so better. And now when you want that kind of quality, you just about not sometimes, not all the time. Cause some I've heard people say that a lot of luxury is just a bunch of cham cham jam ram ram stuff. In other words, you ain't getting all the quality. So I think I might dye my hair today. I will have y'all seen. Leave it in the comments. Have y'all seen on? Um, uh, and then I'm going to get back to, back to thrifting. Have y'all seen on um, TikTok? Girl, I be nervous about that TikTok. TikTok. What's TikTok? TikTok. Now, my grandbaby ordered her some, and it came. And I think she did. I'm going to pay like 20 something cents for it. had marked down, and she used a coupon, girl. A little stroll thing. And she got two or three of them, and they came. But this black soap, black shampoo been going all on the TikTok. You wash your hair with it. And it dyed your hair. I was I was so tempted to order it. And I'm still debating about ordering it. Because I don't feel like going through the whole rhythm of root. Plus, I plan on dyeing my hair back blonde. But I just, until then, I was like, I ain't going to do nothing to it until I go on dye blonde. But girl, look at this. Look at this. I got to. I got to go. On. Do I want to cut off the edges? Keep growing. I think I'm going to keep growing. Yeah, I got to. But anyway, back to thrifting. I am very meticulous about jewelry, clothing, and shoes, jackets, anything that have certain writing on them. And y'all know this. This is for my new bands. They have writing on them. They have... Uh, just a funny look. I always check and I ask God to help me be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. I always check. And so, all right, Holy Spirit, is anything? Come on, come on, is, is, is anything? And then if I just feel overly nervous about it, I won't get it. I won't get it. Because I'm going to tell you, you have to be very careful. I don't know how much y'all know, but y'all do know the ones that have been following me for a while. Uh, I was a on my deliverance team at the church. Now we talk serious talk now, y'all. And you have to be so careful, baby. I was telling y'all my phone said it's too hot to keep using. It cut off. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, and then I'm gonna get off that I get home. Um and I'm saying this because this is a bait basically this channel is found on thrifting but you know we would do bog and hunt bog shopping all that good stuff but when you are a thrifter you have to be careful because some jewelry is demonic with demonic uh symbols and if you don't realize you don't think anything to it you don't think you know you have to pay attention to what you bring into your home if you had a peaceful home and a calm home and then you went and thrifted a picture, an artifact, you brought something back from out the country, you've been traveling, and now your home just, when you walk in, it don't feel the same, you feel full, you feel like you're hearing stuff at night, you don't feel comfortable. You got to think about what's the last thing I brought into my home before all this started happening. 
if you had peace and now everybody arguing and all this kind of stuff, you have to pay attention to that stuff. And you can do that by bringing artifacts, by bringing jewelry, by bringing furniture, uh, clothing. Uh, it's amazing. But this is something that you have to seek God for yourself to get a full understanding because a lot of people think, oh, that ain't true. That's just a bunch of hocus pocus. That's just a bunch of no darling. This is true. It's true. It is. I probably can hear my ass so high. It's true. So you have to be very careful as thrifters. Even wigs and hats. You know what I'm saying? You had to come against any demonic attachment, anything that was committed during the prior owner. You commanded to go back to where it came from. You are a new owner, and it's under new government. All witchcraft, all antichrist, everything concerning demonic ties must be broken now in the name of Jesus. You cover this in the blood. Your home is covered in the blood. And it's any activity that was committed with this purse with this outfit with this hat we denounce you you have no legal right because you are under a different authority you are under heaven authority governed by the heavens governed by the holy ghost governed by the anointing of our lord and savior jesus christ i command you to go you have no place here you have to give it new ownership it's even when you go into a new home a new apartment even when you go to a hotel pray don't just go in the hotels and go to sleep babe when you walk into that hotel any demonic activity that was here prior before i came i command you to go you cannot be here while i'm here it's a new government here it's a new reign here i'm here and i represent the holy heavens of my lord and savior jesus christ you cannot be what god is i command you to go all spirits of murder all spirit of, of sexual perversion all spirit of conniving all spirit Now, I know if you don't understand, you probably think I'm just talking, just talking. But if the ones that I'm saying, you know, I'm telling you, get you some books. One of the books I used to read was, when we started out, was The Pig in the Parlor. I read that. Uh, John Eckhart, How to Route Demons. Uh, and this is not to be putting nobody into no fair. I had somebody tell me one time, I don't mess with them demons, and they don't mess with me. Baby, don't work like that. It don't work like that. It don't work. That's just like that saying that said God won't put me put no more on you than you can bear. But you've been out there doing any and everything your own self and now I done got rubbed. Now you talking about God won't put no God didn't put that on you in the first place. You was out there doing whatever you were doing, cutting up, spending, whatever we be doing out there. And it's just the grace of God that get us through. God didn't put that on us. That's just the grace of God to get us through it. That's what that is. Because if you don't live, if you don't live under the government and the ruling of God, then you subject to anything. And God didn't put that on you. Yo, it could be your disobedience. It could be I've been. I told y'all this before. I've been uh, listening to and going along with uh, her name, Nita Danielle. She did thirty days, thirty days of Proverbs. And I tell you, I'm four days behind. Because I soak in the tub and I listen to her in the day and I soak to her listen to her at night. In a couple of days, I missed. Uh, like days when I get up and go to therapy, I just jump up, say my prayers, jump up and go on to therapy. Because I be at therapy at 7.30. Which ain't no excuse because I get up at 6 and listen to her. But um, it's been such a blessing going along with Proverbs with that young lady because I'm telling you what it really does is it really show you yourself sometimes we can fool ourselves like we so good and she talked about that me and my husband talked about that one time in our class how people really think they're getting a pass when they say God know my heart he does and the people start laughing because I said you're right God, you are absolutely right. God does know your heart. He knows how crooked, how deceitful, how lying it is. But you say that to cover it up because it makes you feel better. 
It makes you feel like, uh, God know I'm a good person. No, God created you, girl. God know the secrets that you don't even know. That that's hidden in your heart. What does that scripture say? Uh, man heart is deceitful. Man don't even know their own heart. You people like, oh, we. I didn't think I would do nothing like that. I know you did, cause that thing was hid up in your heart. You didn't know it, but it's hid up in your heart. Your heart can deceive you. So, ah, man, if you haven't studied along with, and it's on the internet. So even if you go back for my thing. I, what I did was I started at Proverbs 5 and I just went back, back and read my Bible up into Proverbs 5 and then from then on I started following along with her. It's been such a blessing. It's been such a blessing and she does such a good job because she talks about what stood out to her in the chapter. She talked about how it affected her life and she do say a part about the heart which I was so tickled because me and my husband had uh, ministered on that in class one night about stop using it as an excuse or you think that's an escape goat to go do what you want to do like people said oh girl i'm finna i'm finna put my religion down because i got to handle it no you that means you don't have relation you can't put god down and go handle nothing and come back and pick him up it don't work like that and like i was telling my husband last night my prayer now is for god to write his word or help me to get his word in my heart because what we have is a lot of head and a lot of lip, but it ain't in the heart. That's why when somebody tell you something spiritual or something concerning God, it's hard for you to believe because it's in your head. You say, he can do it now. I know he can do it. Yeah, you know up here he can do it, but you don't know in here he can do it. And when he told us to write his word on our heart, we got to get it in here. And that is my desire. I want it in my heart. I want to know in my heart. I don't want to just know it. I want to know in my heart. That way you won't doubt his word. When he said you can move mountains, the mountains, which are, you know, things that come against you. You can move these things out your way. When you know that in your heart, you don't even worry about it. Yo, when you really know in your heart that God said vengeance is here, you won't even worry about people. You'll realize how sick they was to even try to hurt you. You'll realize that, and, I, and I'm going to say this and then we're going to get off. In, one, in class one night, I was teaching. I always ask the Holy Ghost to have his way. And I was explaining to people that you got to understand that we have a God and we serve a God that literally gives us the ability to serve him or not. So we have something that's called free will. So when people say, you know, if God really loved me, you know, he wouldn't have let that person did that to me. He wouldn't have let that person hit me. He wouldn't let that person rape me. He wouldn't let that person molest me. This is the thing, baby doll, love. God was speaking to that person. You know, it says you can harden your heart so hard that you can't even hear God. God was speaking to that person and telling that person not to do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. But that person's heart was so hard that they didn't want to obey. So you got a choice to obey God or not. So God couldn't just come in there and just slam them down because then God will be overstepping his boundaries. Yes, God does have boundaries when it comes to his creation. That's why he said that he has given you dominion over heaven and earth. So it's up to us to obey the spirit of God or not. So he tells people not to do, but they choose to listen to the other one. And do what they want to do. They, You know what it said. Follow their own selfish desires. But God is so God that even. God is so good that even when that does happen to you. If you allow him. He'll come in there and heal you from it. He'll come in there and heal you from it. But he cannot overstep free will. Because he gave that to us. He gave it to us. Because if, if he knew that Adam, somebody said, if God knew Adam was going to sin, then why, why, why this and that? Because when he created Adam, he created Adam in the place that he knew Adam was going to, you know, bite the uh, 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 fruit. But he also didn't want, he wanted Adam to have the freeness of wanting to do right. 
that's like saying, well, if, if you know your children going to be this, 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 or why don't you uh, just not have them? But you still want a baby. You want a baby. You desire a baby. But somebody come on and say, well, your baby going to be uh, this or that or that or that or that. You have a decision. That's your decision. I don't know if any of this makes sense to y'all, but I'm finna get off, cause honey, I done, I done chatted right, ta 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 all the way home, girl. I can only imagine how long this is gonna be. Bye, girl! I'll see y'all in the hall.